As a general rule, force 4 needs one reef. Force 5, two reefs. And force 6, three reefs. A boat will not sail faster without a reef. It will just be more difficult to control and less comfortable to sail. There are a few procedures that need to be remembered when making a reef. And then the portion of the sail which we're going to put in our reef will bring on the other side of the boom. So we bring that over there and you see that little little cords there? Yeah. That is a, corresponds with the first reef. If we want to go to the second reef, we can then come there and there are a different coloured set, okay. set of points. So these are the ones we want to be on top of the boom and this slab of sail here will be the portion of the sail which we're going to put in our reef. I'm just going to raise the front of the gas up just a little bit because it's easy to just see what we're doing at the front end. So if I just take the screw halyard and pop that on there, and just lift that up about six inches, and then it gives us easy access to the front of the sail. And then come up the front of the sail, and when we put a reef in, we're duplicating the way the sail is put on the spars in the first place. If you look, it's fastened down to the gooseneck there, where when we put a reef in, we actually do the same thing but higher up the sail. So if we come up the front of the sail, well the first big pringle, which is that one there, and that will correspond with that line of reef points there. Yeah. So that's got to be fastened down to the gooseneck there. Now you've got a choice of two things. We can either use a shackle, and there's a spare one hanging on the gooseneck, or we can actually use one of the sail carriages to tidy that, to tie that down. Okay. So if we just put the one reef in, we'll use the little spare shackle. And fasten that down to there. So that's the front of the sail taken care of. These little reef points there, Vicky. Yep. They've got to form the new foot of the sail and they need to be stretched out nice and tight towards the back end. So what we're going to do, if you look, See that cord there? That is stretching the foot of the sail out. Well, we've got to duplicate that foot further up the sail. Mm -hmm. And also, bind it down around the boom so it can't lift at the back end. So if we take one of these sail tidies, mm -hmm. find they've got a little loop in there. If we pop that through, through that cringle there, gives us something to pull against. Pull that there. Come up the leaps of the sail, the first big cringle. Yep. Pop that through there and pull that out nice and tight. Now, can you see we've got those nice and nice yep. and tight there now? Now, if we put a, a knot straight in there, that will tighten up and it's difficult to get undone. So if I just come underneath there and round there a couple of times, that gives that a little bit of friction and then the, the rope won't tighten up on the knot. Okay. If I, and then if I put a couple of half hitches just in there, that's secured the stretching out bit, okay. which is that bit. Yep. Now we've got to stop that from lifting, which would be this bit. So if we just roll that piece of sail there, yeah. and pop that underneath the boom, and back through the cringle. And pull that nice and tight, and just make that fast onto there. Now that's the two essential elements we've completed. That and that, that and that. So that's nice and firm there. Now that's the two ends. Now if we didn't do anything else, the actual sail itself wouldn't take any harm. But we've got this lovely bit of sail here, which we, is in our reef. We want to just tidy up. And that's the purpose of the little points. They don't do anything else. They don't, shouldn't take any weight. They just tidy the sail up. Okay? Yeah. So if we feel underneath this boom, there's a little partner for that one on the other side there. If I just get that over that and pop that over top of the boom, not yeah. round the boom, yeah. but over top of the boom, between the top of the boom and the foot of the sail. And then if we just bunch that up nicely and tie those two together with a reef knot, 